99% of everyone that's watching this video must have once heard or, or know about the clash of these two IMs, the Tin T2s versus the Blano Freeze. These are like The Rock versus Triple H or I don't know what else, Kratos versus Deimos or something, Batman v Superman of the IM world. The rest of you, the other 1%, are either new to the hobby or just returning to the hobby. Then I would like to tell you, if you're that 1%, run, run as far, <laughs> run as, far as possible because but if you're willing to stay, then good luck, okay? But at the midst of the battle, the clash, they're, they're also clash about oh, something like the... Um, this is the Moondrop SSR versus the Blonde 05 and the Tinty 2 Plus, but... They suck, no, I'm just kidding. But they're not as legendary as these two, definitely not. But at the midst of the the battle between these two um, giants, there is an IM that's just looking at in the background, just hiding in the background. That has been there for like a long time before these two. That has appeared a long time these two, but has but don't have that kind of hype to bring them around uh, around everyone's ears. Uh, but definitely, definitely have a very strong cult following behind them are these. The E1000 to 3000 lineup. There is also the E500, but we can't get those in our hands right now because they're quite rare here. So... I just have these three. This is the E1000. This is the special Japanese green color. The E2000 and the E3000 right here. Which we are going to review right now. We are going to make a comparison. I am going to make comparisons between these and those at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned. And these are not a sponsor video. Uh, this is a, a personally owned unit. This is mine. This is Jason's. And yeah, I'm not getting paid nor influenced to say anything good or bad about these. Okay. These are made a long time. Like substantially, substantially long time before these two. And I have people before these to even exist uh, kept saying to me that these are the most amazing thing has ever graced the budget market. This is the final E3000. Until now, there are still a, a, a heft, a, a hefty amount of cult following on these final IMs. Which I know some of them personally, but I'm not gonna mention who. Okay. TLDR. It's good, but not everyone would like it. It's kind of different about the review that I gave to the blondes. I said in the blondes that everyone would like it, but it's not that good. However, these are good, but not everyone's gonna like them. And I'll tell you why later. That's basically the TLDR. Okay, for the build. Hmm. The build is... The build is shit. The build is shit. It has uh, very thin and do not don't they don't tangle as much. They are very thin, very fragile feeling cable, and it's a uh, fixed cable, so you're not gonna change it anytime soon, unless you know someone that has the abilities to solder these things and make them detachable. So yeah, you're gonna have to live with that. The the, the housing is made of steel. No, not, I don't, not steel, but it's made of, made of metal. However, the nozzle is definitely made of plastic. You can see it right there. 
it has that white filter uh, the ear tips though they're 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 one of the most amazing ear tips i've ever have like in my collection they come with various sizes they don't give you any box but they give you like a small leather like faux leather i don't I don't know what kind of leather it feels terrible it feels very bad uh, bag which I never use I just throw them away I don't I forgot where I put them and they gave you with an L shaped jack like this though my E3000 has been terminated to straight jack not by me but by the previous owner of this I am but I've had another uh, E3000 with the same eh, with the original jack it doesn't make any difference to the sound if you think it makes different I don't care but so but it doesn't so yeah the build is I'm gonna give it a, uh, a 3 out of 10 probably I am it's not good it it's not good it's in the in the these ages in uh, in the in these times I can't recommend recommend this build now for the sound quality <laughs> it's not easy to really um, explain how these things sound let's go from the, reg the regular trifecta sound quality the bass here doesn't extend as much to the sub bass though these have a very strong kick and slam in the bass because of there is an audible hump at mid at mid bass range and a bit goes to the sub bass but it quickly ro roll off at the end there um and it kind of bothers me a lot at some music that has a lot of power at the lower mid range to the upper bass yeah it's fairly detailed not as much textured as i would like though they are a bit more textured than something like the blondes would be they the the driver is definitely faster than the blondes um, yeah the bass is the biggest complaint in my opinion about the final e3000 a lot of people love this you know, if you like something more a bit boosted bass it's not very bloated it's a bit bloated but it's not very bloated it's boosted definitely um yeah but they're fast they're kind of fast they're not the fastest around but they're kind of fast in that region um, yeah not not much to say about the bass it's just a bit boosted in, in for my particular preference I, uh, but I actually love some of the boosted basses something like the uh, what do you call that the moon drop star feels I love them they have a bit boosted basses just not at the area where these are boosted that's the thing yeah the mids are good the mids are very detailed definitely very detailed uh, they're, they're they're the most detailed among the mid bass and treble because uh, they don't do a lot of things in the mids they don't try to do a lot of things in the mids that's the easy way to say it I don't uh, when you're looking at the graph it's very simple uh, uh, you have like a slight slope harmon harmonish slope in the mid range and goes up at the upper mid range they they have a bit an okay amount of pina gain though i would prefer a just a teensy bit more like something in the e2000s mm, and yeah they are very detailed everything is well separated and yeah that's that's it for the mid the treble though when I said the bass is the most disappointing part about this I am I made a mistake I should have said the treble is the most disappointing part of this I am because there is no treble here now I'm just gonna I'm, people's going to hate me for this but there is no no nada zero 
trouble here. There's nothing at the 6k. I, I can't hear. I I obviously can hear them, but these, these have far than enough trouble f act, uh, for me, at least. They have less trouble than the blondes. They have obviously less trouble than Tinty 2s. They have they obviously have less trouble than these and these and also the ZS10 Pros and also the Sony Image 755. These don't have a lot of trouble. Even at the air frequencies, they don't give it a bit a if even a teensy bit of boost. And that's fucking disgusting. Because these are great, if only they do a bit more treble here, and a bit more upper mid-range energy, and loosen up the bass, this would be perfect. I'm serious, because the technical aspect is amazing here. I'm, I'm gonna get to that later. Yeah. And that's the treble. I, no, that's the non-treble, because there isn't any. Next is the tim the timbre timbre and the tonal balance of this I am. It's okay. You obviously don't have that uh, natural decay of something like the cymbal hits or percussion hits because of the lack in treble extension there and everything else like uh, vocals like female vocals they sound okay but they lack that pizzazz <laughs> i don't know what how how would you explain that that crispiness at the top end of the sounds of the voice usually even even male voices like something like like the michael buble like in the buble album i've listened to uh, what do you call that some, when you're smiling, yeah, that that, that music, I, for, I that that song, I forgot what the name. I think that I think that's the title. Yeah, when you're smiling, I I don't like the sound of Michael Bublé there. With these on, they sound a bit lacking at the top end of the sound of the of their voice. Definitely, definitely noticeable. However. I would still recommend these to some people if they're looking for a technical, technically good I am. This thing is great at separation. That that is easy. That is easy to say that these are good at separation. These are also great at soundstage. I don't think they're like EX1000 level of soundstage. They're almost there. I mean, almost, I mean, very close. They're about as wide as the, at the Tinty 2s. And the Tinty 2s are wide because of the airiness. And these have no air. Imagine if these have air. Like I don't. These are obviously vent, vented here. There you can see a little bit of holes at the back of the IM, so it's open back. Yeah, these have wide sound stage. Imaging is also pretty solid here. Not as great, but it's pretty solid. Not not as great as something as the EX1000 again, but it's very solid here. Better than the blondes, definitely. The soundstage is better than the blondes, separation is better than the blondes, and, and the Tinty 2s, the imaging is also better than the Tinty 2s, the, uh, what do you call it, the texture. The texture is, is more defined than like something at the blondes, uh, and the, what do you call that? Um, Speed, the transient, the, the 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 detail retrieval is also better than the the blondes. So yeah, that's basically the final E three thousand. I'm going to compare them one by one against all of these five IEMs that I have right now. I'm not going to compare these with with the E five hundred because I don't have them, and the Tinty two plus because it's not with me right now. The um, 
what do you call it, the S10 Pros because they suck, the uh, Blano 5 because they are like a downgrade of the Blano 3s, and I'm not gonna compare these with the Tinty 3s because I broke them, okay? Or the 4000, 4, the 4K and the 5K because I don't have them and that's on a different price range than these, definitely. Okay, against the Tinty 2s. It's a very different I am. Very, very different I am. These are airy. These are not. These are bassy. These are not. So I don't know how to actually compare them. And uh, I can compare them on technicalities, of course. These have better se separation, better uh, mid range details. These have better treble details, uh, the Tinty 2s. The, the, the 3K has. Uh, equal amount of sound stage they also have a better bigger kick and slam than the uh, t2s the transients are about similar um, what do you call that the imaging here is also better than the tint t2s everything sounds more 3d more vivid everything sounds more clear in the image department though uh, the tinty 2s sound more grand as in they sound more open because of the airiness qualities of the tinty 2s though in a very in, in very bassy music the uh, final e final e3k can generate a feeling of sound stage of depth in the sound stage better than the than the tinty twos against the blondes which is a better compare comparison than something like the tinty twos if i were to choose the blonde o freeze or the final e3k i would buy the blonde o freeze because they're cheaper this is more expensive than the blonde o freeze but that's in the MSRP price, but street price, these are just $15 more expensive, which is quite a difference considering these are only like 30 but yeah, but not so much money that you can't afford these. If you can't afford these and everything you need to do, like the ear tips or the cable change, you can't afford these, so yeah. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare the blondes while using the spin fit tips tips because I can't use the original tips because it promotes imbalance because the shape of the blondes, the, the famous famous shape of the blondes. I could use the what do you call that the inverted casey tips like these. No, the problem about the inverted casey tips is they kind of change the. Uh, the tonal qualities of an IM, which hinders the pr the the prowess of the blondes. Those spin fits kind of have that similar qualities, but to my ears, at least, to the fitting aspect of these two tips, they the 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 KZ tend to change the tonal qualities a bit more than the spin fits. So, if you're looking for something more. Uh, sound <laughs> more um, tonally balanced I would really let recommend the blondes over the finals though if you have something uh, if you're strong on technicalities if you don't really like that sub bass or the slow qualities of the blondes I would recommend you the final E3K. That's the simple comparison of, of these two. Though most of the time, of I would, I would grab the blonde over the final E3K. After I have these, which I will get to later against the final E1K. The final E1K is more similar to the Tinty 2s 
than it is to the final E3K. So yeah. Technicalities wise, the, the, the main difference between these two is the soundstage and imaging, which is stronger, far stronger in the, in the E3K. Noticeably stronger, technicality wise. The tuning wise is pretty much the same as I said with the uh, Tin T2s. Um, yeah. Against the E2Ks, get the E2Ks. Why? I will explain them in the 2K video. Uh, the, but but I'm not gonna gonna leave you hanging. Um, I, the 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 simple way of explaining why I'd recommend the 2K over the 3K. This is the basically what, if you remembered what I said that if if these have a bit smaller base and they have a bit more pina gain and a lot more treble. These are basically it. Just they don't have, still don't have enough treble for my taste. Yep. Do not. They're not exactly like that, but um, I will get to that in the uh, in the video of the E two case against the Moon Drop SSR. This is shit. Which I will explain later why later in the, in its own video, but not even close. That's the ultimate comparison. However, the the what do you call the technicality aspect of these are actually not as different as the final E three K, though they do they go to. Um, quite a different route which the 3k goes to the bassier and warmer type of sound and the SSR just goes ah type of sound yep e rape hell yeah and that's it for the video about the final e3k hope you like it and Jason's gonna have a video on his or not on this channel <laughs> And I'm gonna link this video. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna link it down there in the description also. Don't forget to watch it. And yeah, that's it about the E3K. Like and subscribe. Bye bye. Godspeed.